Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our next 2009 California Wrestling Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Lars Jensen. As presenter, the head wrestling coach from Wilsey World High School in Vancouver, California, and his very own brother, Mr. Thor Jensen. Lars has served as the head wrestling coach at San Francisco State University for the past 25 years. Lars has coached nine individual NC2A Division II national champions, 51 NC2A All-Americans, 34 NC2A All-Academic Americans, and 51 conference champions. Lars' teams won the Northern Athletic Conference in 1992, 1993, and in 1994. He also won the NC2A Division II West Region in 1997, where that team went on to win the NC2A Division II National Championship. And speaking of NC2A Division II National Championship, Lars has finished 11 times in the top 20 and 6 times in the top 10. As for his honors, Lars was the Amateur Wrestling News National Rookie Coach of the Year for all divisions in 1993, correction, 1983 and 1984. Lars also is a seven-time Conference Coach of the Year. In 1997 and in 2003, Lars was the NC2A Western Region Coach of the Year. Also in 1997, Lars was the NC2A Division II National Coach of the Year. Moreover, in 1988, Lars was in Wins Magazine first Dan Gable Coach of the Year. In addition to Lars' coaching responsibilities, Lars has served on the NC2A Division I Championship Games Committee and the NC2A Wrestling Rules Committee. Lars has also served on the N Division II Subcommittee Chair. Currently, Lars is a member of the San Francisco State University Presidential Task Force on the Future of University Athletics. Lars has also served as the tournament director of the San Francisco State University Community College and California Collegiate Open Tournament for the past 26 years. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into the 2009 California Russell Hall of Fame, Mr. Lars Jensen. They're here somewhere. I got to put my glasses on. I can't see anything anymore. I was in denial to about five years ago, but uh, I'd just like to uh, first uh, start off by uh, like to thank the selection committee, which I'm a part of. I didn't vote for myself. I just want to tell you that right now. But uh, uh, I would like to uh, thank, especially thank uh, Alan Abraham for nominating me. We're in a meeting and. Yeah, in beautiful Lemoore, California, and he nominated me there, so I want to thank Alan for that. And I'm also especially honored uh, as one of my uh, assistant coaches, or my assistant coach, Dave Nelson, I'm very honored that I'm going in the same class that he is. So I'm very honored in that regard. I'd like to thank all, all my teammates that are here tonight, my wrestlers, my, my uh, friends. And, and also officials that are here. And I want to recognize a few people in my family. Uh, first and foremost is, is my wife, my best recruit of 21 years, Chanda. Thank you very much. Also my two children, uh, Brendan and, and Laura, they've grown up wrestling, uh, working at tournaments, and they're some of my best workers, so, so thank you very much. Also, um, to, the, to the officials, you, all, you always saw my parents in the first row and uh, I like my dad's upstairs, but um, my mom's here tonight, June, and uh, she always is, was the expert in stalling at all tournaments and dual meets. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> now, I'm kind of special here. I, I, I'm a twin, so I had a built-in workout partner all the time. I didn't need a wrestling mat. We wrestled in the street, we wrestled on the rug, broke a lot of furniture, broke windows, broke sofas, but my brother was, uh, my twin brother was, uh, was special. He made me very competitive in all sports, and, and when we meet now for um, you know, various uh, family events, we're still out there wrestling and working our moves and everything else, and of course now the, uh, the uh, sister-in-laws have to separate us because we're still, we're still uh, very competitive. <laughs> Between my brother and myself, we've, we've coached 59 years and we're, we're still going. We've still got, I think, a little 10, 12 more years left in, the, in coaching. Now, I, I, I did not start as a wrestler. I started in high school. My brother and I both were out for the baseball team. We're doing conditioning in the, after football. And uh, we were recruited by a couple friends. And uh, we, um, 
Went to the first uh, practice. It was a, actually a scrimmage against a rival high school. We beat both of our opponents. We said, oh, well, let's try this. Now that's 37 years later. But uh, I went to Miller Athlete High School. One, uh, my, the, the head coach there was Ben Parks. He was famous for conditioning. We'd have three-hour practices and be on the mat maybe for 15 minutes. At College of San Mateo was uh, Jim Jakes. He taught, a lot of, taught me a lot about organizational skills. And then I was lucky enough to be recruited by Alan Abraham at San Francisco State in 1977. And he's been my biggest mentor. And I'm pretty lucky. I never had to coach high school, did some student teaching when I was getting my teaching credential. But I, was, I inherited a, um, a good program here at, at San Francisco State. And I just have been doing it for the last 26 years. And uh, I want to give Alan a lot of credit for, for keeping the program alive, as well as our alumni that are here tonight. Now, um, you know, when you put all the trophies and medals away, you know, in a drawer somewhere, what are you left with? You're left with memories and relationships that you build up with. Now, some of these relationships last a long, long time, a lifetime, and uh, I like the old Far Western Conference. Nowadays, uh, some of you folks remember that. Now, some. <laughs> In the old Far Western Conference, we were all non-scholarship in those days, and um, built up some relationships with some uh, some great uh, head coaches. And just like to recognize them tonight: Armand Brett from Chico, Frank Cheek from from Humboldt State, and Bob Brooks from UC Davis. We we put on some great dual meets, and we had that old Far Western Conference tournament. And I look forward to that. Okay. I always get phone calls. It seems like every month or so I get a, get a phone call and it's from one of my ex-wrestlers and uh, they start out the conversation. They go, God, coach, you made me run extra and you made me do these extra things. But, you know, if, it, if I, well, I only got 30 seconds left. Okay. But uh, th those phone calls are very special to me and, um, and, and they mean a lot to me because they, they, their statements are that they wouldn't be where they are today without what I did for him. Uh, real quickly here, 1993, we, they tried to drop wrestling at San Francisco State three times. Uh, 1993, they dropped wrestling. Four years later, we won the national championship. It's kind of uh, just a, uh, crazy how that happens. How in 1993, for a whole day, we dropped wrestling, they reinstated it. Four years later, we win a national championship. And we're continuing wrestling today. We're the, only we're the best Division II school in California and we're the only Division II school in California. <laughs> so, I'd just like to, uh, you know, just, just thank everybody for being here tonight. Wrestling's, you know, been involved in the sport in 37 years. I'd uh, like to thank everybody that's, that's come out here. I'd like to thank the other nominees, as well as the Lifetime Service Award folks. And um, it was mentioned to me by one of my brothers who's here tonight. He says, you probably know you know, at least one or two people per table. I said, I probably do, but I forgot their names. So <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Once again, Mr. Lars Jensen.